With a little practice and 10 seconds, someone can be in your house. Stick around to find out how. All right, I apologize for the uh, audio sound quality and all that, that the key was lost. So we're gonna go ahead and get in the property and uh, we're gonna rekey the locks. And uh, to actually show you how easy it is for someone to get into your home, Hello? Anybody here? Okay. So here we got it. And what we're going to do is we're going to pull these two, uh, the deadbolt and the lock, the knob off, rekey them. The front door as well the uh, deadbolt and the knob we're going to pull so they'll all be rekeyed to the same key all right so we're going to get this uh these locks out so they can be rekeyed and i can tell you that most of your everyday locks are uh they are they keep honest people honest and that's pretty much all they do experience I have found that Quickset is not really secure. Uh, it's easier to get into a Quickset lock than it is to get into Slage, so to speak. And so what I usually do is I will, once the, the whole property is done, then I'll check each key in each lock as I, as I rekey it. And then when I get everything put back in again, I'll go back through and I'll check each key in each lock to again confirm that it is good. So, and, and one thing, I mean, I know this kind of sounds crazy, but for added security, <laughs> let your locks get weathered. They're not going to be they're not going to be picked so easily if they're weathered. Uh, so I can keep track of which door or which lock went to which door. And, and mainly just because, I, I don't know, because uh, like I said, I'm, I'm anal about it, and I just, you know what, I just locked it. I've got a spinner that I don't have with me for when you do that, and I do it so often when I'm messing with something. Uh, usually if the lock is installed correctly then the teeth of the key are faced up and you go in turn left it unlocks 
that's not the case on everything but at least that I've dealt with to rake it now don't be uh, don't be confused in thinking just anybody is going to come up and pick your door in five seconds. A lot of people who do usually are not lock pickers. Nine times out of ten, the only lock pickers you're going to know is a locksmith. They are going to make picking a lock look easy because they've done it enough times. Now, I'm, um, I'm using the term that I'm raking these locks. Now, a locksmith is going to know what I'm talking about. And, and it's, the, it's the best non-destructive way to get into a lock until you've done it a lot. You are not going to get into somebody's lock in a couple of seconds. There's an entire technique to it. If you want to learn something about lock picking, Bosnian Bill. I don't even think he does videos anymore. I really wish he did. I enjoyed watching him so much. Uh, but uh, check out Bosnian Bill on the internet. Not on the internet. I mean, he probably is. But uh, on YouTube. And he has courses to teach people how to pick locks. And uh, you can learn. All right, we're going again. The video cut out on me. So a lot was just missed. I'm sorry. I apologize. I hope, uh, hope the pertinent stuff. I was just talking about how locks work and all that kind of good stuff. So hopefully... We didn't lose all that, but we may have. And again, I apologize if we did. But there's really nothing I can do about it. It's too late now. The job is done. Check my phone, make sure it's still recording. Like I said, the battery's almost dead. I'm trying to hurry up here. Got a quick little charge on it. <sighs> May need to charge some more. Always check your knob, make sure it's not bound because you can tighten those screws too much and it'll bind up. All right, here we are at the back door. But I'm gonna need to leave this open so they can get in it and work in it tomorrow. But, key number one opens and locks. Key number two locks and opens. Deadbolt and the second key. Locks and opens the deadbolt. Okay, here we are on the front door. We're gonna close it. I'll do the same check. Locked, unlocked, locked, unlocked. So we're going to leave it locked. And then deadbolt, open. And the deadbolt. So this job is done. It's taken care of. Uh, give these keys back to the rental company so that they can their tenants can get back in or they can get back in so anyway uh, the point of the video was not to teach you how to rekey locks or to teach you how to break into something but to show you by example how simple it is to rake cheap 
Lowe's, Walmart locks. Uh, if you want to defeat the rake-in method, which takes seconds in someone who's practiced it, uh, get a Brinks or anything that says it's got security pins in it. And it won't be something that can just be raked that quickly. It'll have to be picked or broken, which is brute force. When it comes to that, there's just hardly any properties or doors that'll withstand somebody kicking them. There's just not enough meat that's holding it in there. If you got double doors on the front of your house, get rid of them. Single door is going to be harder to kick in than a double door. And I always recommend on this back plate inside, put some steel reinforcement if you can work it out. All right, that job's done. Uh, we're heading out. All right. So I'm going to go over a couple things that uh, I think were missed in the video at the uh, rekeying at, at the uh, duplex. So this is called the cylinder, and this is called the Bible. Um, in here, your pins, so here's the bottom of the lock, and this is how your key should go in with your teeth facing up here towards the Bible. As your key goes in, it brings all of these pins into perfect alignment at a shear line right here so this cylinder will turn and that unlocks the lock. So basically what we did was we raked this Bible that you understand how vulnerable your house is especially if you're in a situation where it's a high crime rate and, and just some some practice. If someone was to practice raking locks for hmm I don't know uh, when I first started raking locks, I couldn't do anything. I couldn't. I could not open a lock, and just practicing a little bit here, there, and yonder over a cut period of a couple of months, I finally started getting locks open. And so there's a technique to it. Not just anybody can do it. You have to practice and get good at it, and you can rake these locks open pretty easy. But in this case right here, you want to install it so it's facing just like this in the door. You want to have your base pointed to the ground, and you want to have your Bible pointed straight up, straight to Jesus. You want to have it pointed up. And the reason being is all your springs are in here, all your pins. And if you have this pointed down like this, and it's an exterior door, rain can tend to get inside here, and it can start to... What will happen is this will get corrosion in here, and you'll always wind up having to change this out or put uh, lubricant in there or something. All right. Uh, so with... I'm going to draw a, a typical pin, and the way I'm going to draw it is the way this is oriented, the pin, I'm going to orient them here. So you have, uh, see, I told you I can't draw with the flip. So, and then you're going to have a, a pin that's up here in the Bible, the top section. It's going to be like this. So normally you're going to have a slight, slight curvature. I hope you don't run off just because of my drawing, but bear with me, please. So you can, I mean, it's really bad, but you can see a slight curvature to here. Now this is your shear line for your lock. This is this section through here. Just picture these right here. These are ridges that would be on the pins. And you would usually have a steel one up front at this section that's harder to drill through if, if, if that were the case. Um, and so these right here would have ridges that would make it easier to catch up and bind at this shear line, which makes it harder to, to rake them like I did today. And you also have other pins that are shaped like this. Again, you already know what I'm going to say. Bad drawer. Looks like an I-beam. That's called a barrel. And so that right there is also another kind of security pin, which is a pain in the backside to get past when you're trying to rake. If you've got uh, barrel pins in there, then it's just time to pick it. 
anyway, I hope that is as clear as mud. I hope I helped you out. I probably didn't. Forgive me, but my intent was to help you. If, you, if any of that is unclear, please, please comment in the description. Again, if this is helping you in any way or if it's doing something for you, I, I would ask you if you would please like and subscribe. Uh, I appreciate you being here. I appreciate you spending your your precious time with me. I hope I taught you something. I hope I've helped you in some, some uh, form or fashion. God bless.